Being a teen can be an amazing time of discovery, learning, and friendship, but it's also a time of rapid change and emotional highs and lows where things can feel really tough. So what's going on in our brains and bodies that make us feel this way? Why is being a teen so hard? We're often told that the most important years of brain development are between 0 and 5 years old, although recent research has found adolescent development to be equally important. During childhood, our brains continually grow, generating gray matter until they reach their maximum size, which for girls is around age 12 and boys around age 14. But even after this, the brain works to become more efficient by cutting away unused gray matter that isn't exercised by experience, and at the same time increasing myelin, which is fatty tissue that inside brain pathways. Puberty begins in the hypothalamus, where a protein called kispeptin is produced, triggering the pituitary gland to unleash the hormones testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. These activate the ovaries and testes, but also cause you to seek emotionally charged experiences, whether it's a movie to make you sob or driving 180 kilometers per hour down the freeway. It causes your response to emotionally loaded images or sounds to be more intense, which is why listening to One Direction may produce large bouts of the feels. The area of the brain responsible for planning ahead and assessing risk is still immature in teenagers, which is why teens are more likely to participate in high-risk behavior like unprotected sex and drinking and driving. Interestingly, in a simulated driving experience, adults and teens took the same amount of driving risks while alone, however, when surrounded by an audience of friends, teens took significantly more risks while adults were unaffected. What's the benefit of this behavior? peer acceptance. In a study where teens were asked to rank music clips with and without knowing what their peers had picked, their choices changed. Unlike small children and adults, feeling socially isolated as a teen creates feelings of intense unworthiness. This, along with our biology, can contribute to teens prioritizing friends over even family. As social animals, stepping outside the safety of our family creates genetically diverse populations, diminishing the likeliness of inbreeding. In fact, teens have heightened social abilities like processing and evaluating facial expressions better than other age groups, allowing teens to be extremely cognizant of friends' joy, sadness, or stress. Speaking of stress, the hormone released in stressful situations to help soothe the brain cells of children and adults has the opposite impact on teens, causing an increase in anxiety. Pair that with a change in circadian rhythms, making you want to wake up three to four hours later than adults, it's no wonder some people describe teens as emotionally moody. On the other hand, teens are very physically healthy. The immune system is highly functioning, teens have increased tolerance to temperature changes, and a high resistance to cancer. But despite physical fitness, records show that death rates increase by 200 to 300 percent after childhood due to motor vehicle accidents, homicide, and suicide. Scientists believe that many changes in white matter, gray matter, and connections in the brain may be to blame with an increased risk of errors during this time. But with a greater number of synaptic connections and increased plasticity, the teenage brain is primed to learn quickly and memorize content fast. Unlike an older brain rooted in what it knows, teens can respond easily to their environment and make incredible strides in communication and socialization. Not to mention being passionate is incredibly valuable and taking risks is often what is needed to make change in your life and the lives of others. Being a teen can be tough, but it can also be amazing. If you want to know why teens are the biggest super fans and become obsessed with their favorite bands and shows, check out our latest ASAP Thought on the science of fandom. Links are in the description to see that video. And subscribe for more weekly science videos.